Wherever Army troops are stationed in defense posts, they serve as safeguards to the security of our overseas lines of supply. They guard our outlying naval and air bases and commercial harbors, and those of our allies, for that matter. In time of war, supply lines become lifelines. Additional ground forces in fighting trim are needed to protect the areas through which the lifelines pass. These avenues stretch to the four points of the compass, from the zone of the interior to worldwide defensive outposts. With the polar air routes open for shortcut attack, our warning and defensive bases are moving further and further north. The same army committed to the defense of warm Pacific islands must learn to do more than survive in the hostile North Country. Ground troops here must stand ready for action as a working part of our total defense bastion. Today, as in the past, Great reliance is put upon our reserve and National Guard units for standby military strength. Steps are being taken to enable these units to attain and maintain a far higher standard of peacetime readiness than they have ever had before. It is vital because whether the status quo prevails for years or whether tensions increase to the point of imminent eruption, we shall need ground troops of very high quality and in a major war, a great many of them. Unfortunately, a factor called time compression by military strategists must be reckoned with. This concept recognizes that in the first hours of war, atomic weapons will deal out destruction unparalleled in conventional warfare. Hence, active forces are more essential than ever to counter the first attack. No matter how rapid the reserves can be mobilized, the decisive phase of a major war may be terrifyingly short. 